Hello guys, welcome back to the vlogs. It is a new episode and we are installing something very, very special today. I am installing my first ever set of wheels for the H6, which is really insane. I never expected to be getting wheels this soon since getting the car. I've had the car for maybe almost three months now. So yeah, I'm very excited for the wheels. I hope they're in good condition. The seller's about to come to my house and I'm gonna have it test fitted to make sure everything fits and clear since I'm only on Loring Springs. He should be coming here soon. And yeah, hopefully in the next clip, we're gonna have some new wheels on. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm not wearing a shirt. It's, it's really hot in the house. My parents don't like AC, I don't know why. But yeah, it's freaking hot. So we ended up going through with the sale and I'm here with the seller. His name is Sean. Hey, what's up? He is an amazing guy. <laughs> A6 community is great. The car is in the background. You can't see it. I'm going to show you guys in a bit where we have more light. But yeah, I just want to say thank you. I'll get his Instagram in the yeah. description so you guys can check his car out. His car is out sick. Actually, let's go to it right now. Let's go check his car out. A very clean A6 as well, man. We got some Brembo's also. His car is great. Fully like track set up too and everything. It's kind of like how I'm aiming to be for my car too, but really really clean hello everyone it is now the next day i have the car right in front of me with the new wheels on all cleaned up and everything are you guys ready to see this shit let's go see this uh, i'm throwing shot after shot yeah how far fam i how many chances i got i know i blew a whole lot but this is more than a try there's more than a plot i should know i've already seen this a million times this ain't how it stops I'm saying this because I know you listen when it drops I keep asking why the Uber's so slow Like how fast could the Escalade go? How much longer till you get home? Here we are guys, this is the new setup that I will be running on the H6 We got some Graham Light 57 DRs But yeah, I love the contrast between the eternal blue and the black paint It's a very subtle blue Which makes it look pretty cool because at night the car just looks all black, but during the day, you could see some blue pearl in the wheels, and it contrasts very well with the black paint, I think. I was originally supposed to get a set of either bronze or white wheels, but after doing more research on them, I feel like every other H6 that I know has a set, especially in the 57DR. These ones just popped up, like, out of the blue, and Sean yesterday was selling it for an amazing price that I just could not pass up on. I was supposed to get coilovers first, but honestly, I really like the ride height. I'm gonna be getting coilovers, but not anytime soon, to be honest, because I just really like how this ride height looks right now, even though it's not slammed. I'm not really a big fan of slammed cars, to be honest. I like it functional, especially how I don't have to worry about having to scrape this kit, especially with being a TRD, I don't want to ruin it, so yeah. Man, this car looks so good, dude. The car's coming along so great. But yeah, just wanted to make a quick little video to update y'all. It's a pretty big update, but yeah. New wheels on the H6, and I am very happy where this thing is going. Uber so slow. Like how fast could Escalade go? How much longer till you get home? So guys, I actually, so guys, I actually have another. So guys, I actually have this portion of the vlog that you just saw. I filmed literally this morning around 10. It's like three now. And another part that I ordered came a lot earlier than I expected. So I'm gonna include it in today's video too. But as you guys know, recently I picked up a likewise shift knob for the 8.6 and I made a whole video about it. I loved it. Great weighted shift knob, really good quality. Yada, yada, yada. My reflection in the rear. Oh my gosh. I don't know, I, I really don't honestly. I just kind of got over the look. As you guys know, the car is a TRD edition and I want to kind of keep that whole TRD theme around to the car, at least add some hints of TRD in the interior, just so you know, add that little OEM plus look to the car. The second best option to buy this TRD part, eBay. Today is sponsored by eBay Motor, I'm kidding. I recently just picked up this TRD shift knob from eBay. I got it for a solid $20. Maybe less. I think I paid 17 for this thing. Comparing this price to the Likewise Shift Knob really makes me regret getting the Likewise Shift Knob. I think it was kind of just hype, but I'm not saying, I'm not trying, I'm not here to bash. Likewise, great company, great quality parts. It's just not really my taste anymore. This is a lot lighter 
there's no question about it how light this is and it's very small a lot smaller this is definitely a lot heavier than this oh man it is a blisteringly hot day today and i'm in my car but that just shows how dedicated i am to this youtube but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get we're gonna go ahead and get the old likewise shift knob out but you could see the, the freaking difference yeah hopefully i didn't waste 20 bucks on this i mean i like this shift knob don't get me wrong it makes it a lot easier to shift but i'm a sucker for some oem plus things even though this isn't really authentic but i'm gonna say it is anyway shift knob literally installed so much better than the likewise one and i'll tell you why the likewise one took so long to install before is because of these thread adapters black screw on top allows you to adjust the seat of your shift knob because your shift knobs have all these likewise um brandings on it and for me i'm a perfectionist i don't want my thing looking crooked so you just like to give it a couple turns to give it a right adjustment for it to sit properly right um Last time in that video, it took at least an hour. I was sitting in my car for at least an hour trying to figure it out. Figure out what happened was this top thing, no matter how much I adjusted it, every time I put the shift knob back on and I tightened it back, the shift knob would just keep spinning. And this adjustment that I just made on that, it spun through again because I was trying to tighten the shift knob. Obviously I need to tighten the shift knob because I don't, when I'm shifting, it's just gonna twist again. And I'm gonna like, what the heck? If anything that i'm going to complain about with the likewise shift knobs it would definitely be about the adjustment on the threads fix this dude this thing gave me a freaking good job ebay it's a lot it it's it definitely doesn't feel good to hold as a fully brushed stainless steel freaking weighted shift knob but you know yeah, it doesn't shift as um easy, but you know, that's just how it is. It feels like a short shifter now. Uh, I'm throwing shot after shot. Yeah. How far fam I? How many chances I got? I know I blew a whole lot, but this is more than a try. It's more than a plot. I should know already seen this a million times. And this ain't how it stops. I'm saying this because I know you listen when it drops. I keep asking why the Uber so slow Like how fast could the Escalade go? How much longer till you get home? I said I'll be there before you know it